Hey guys, Jake here. Thanks for watching the Up and Wander with me today. Today we're just going to do part three of our uh, three part Who Are My Dogs series. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. That'll keep you up to date. We got a season right around the corner. So things are going to be happening pretty quick here in the next week or two. But, anyways, this old girl. Yeah, hi, baby. This old girl is Fiona. She is my nine year old Gordon Setter. This is a dog that made me a bird dog hunter. Aren't ya? Uh, she's been with me since she was eight weeks old. She came from uh, Draco Kennels in Kentucky. I drove down there one day right before, uh, when was it? It was right before Thanksgiving, actually. Picked her up, brought her home, and she's been training me ever since. <laughs> Have you? She's a stubborn old girl. She's real lovable. She can be real stubborn if she doesn't want to do something. It's something I learned about Gordon's. I don't know. I have all kinds of stories about Fiona. I mean, we've done we've done so much together. She's been with me to Iowa a couple times. She's been on most of my trips together. She traveled with me a long time when it was just me and her. She's not quite eh, she's not quite up to par with say Gus. As far as her nose or her energy level or any of that. And she never really was. Even as a young pup, she wasn't quite as good. Her genetics, I guess, weren't as good. But she has still a real good nose. And if Fiona says there's something there, you can promise there's something there. Yeah, you don't fall for fakers, do you? She doesn't do fake points. Ghost points. She's getting kind of over the, over the hill, slowed down a lot. Now she's more of a couch dog, but she's still my favorite. Yeah. We've spent a lot of time together, huh? She's been up to Drummond Island. I don't, know, I don't even know how many times. If I go up to Drummond Island, Fiona goes up with me, so. What do you think? At least 10, 12 times, maybe more. Yeah. Well, she's been guiding at Mimos with me. And she was the one who I started learning from Tracy Liskey. Fiona was my main dog at the time, before I even had Gus. Vinci had just gotten Vinci at the time. And that's when I started working them together and started learning that whole system where the Gordon's point. And the lab flushes. But, yeah. But we still bring her out. She kind of lives with my mom. She kind of moved on to a retirement home, if you will. They love having her there. And for a lot of my time with her, I was still living at my mom's going to school. So she spent a lot of time growing up there and kind of just went there after. She got in your head. Huh? I felt it. Oh. Got a little burr up there. She's the one that introduced me to the needs of Shoshin. Because she was a burr magnet. She'd come out looking like Princess Leia. With her hair all up in buns. Her ears all up in buns. And just horrible mess. I spent hours and hours and hours cleaning this dog off. But she's a sweet old girl. Ooh, shedding old girl, aren't you? And she still loves to hunt, even though she can't do it for as long as she'd like. Time just catches up to you, doesn't it? But yeah, that's Fiona. She's the one that got me addicted to Gordon Setters, and I don't think that'll ever change. We just got done uh, doing some scouting. Got him on a few woodcock. We pushed up. 
And uh, yeah, she got at least two of them up herself, so wasn't all Gus. But we're tired. We're gonna get out of here. We got about an hour drive home. Yeah, probably about an hour and a half. We're gonna get going. But thanks, guys, for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. We'll get this video out there here sometime soon, and have other ones right around the corner. So go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe. That way, it'll post. Show you on every time I post a video. What's over there? Nothing. Alright guys, we're getting out of here. See ya.